So what you have here is you have Bathsheba seeing that her son needed to hear a message about what a godly woman was. How to avoid, listen to this, alcohol and bad women. <laughs> That's what she taught him. What was it about mom that prophetically could see in her son that what he needed was a powerful word about what kind of future God wanted him to have? Imagine this, if Solomon would listen to his mother and picked Proverbs 34, uh, 31 woman instead of what he did and fell, fell himself as a king with what? Foreign women and idolatry and led all kinds of chaos and hell into Israel because of his sin, because he didn't listen to the wise, prophetic insight and instruction from his mother that prophesied into his life, this is what you need to do, son. Find the woman of valor, which is the name of the Proverbs 3. Find the woman of valor. What is it about you when you lay your hands on your kids at night and God stirs in your spirit and you begin to pray and prophesy over their life? You think that has no man, no meaning? You think instructing the people in the Lord is some kind of just homeschool curriculum alone? No, it's taking the prophetic insight and direction and wisdom from God and speaking words into your children's lives about the dangers and threats and, and virtues they need to pursue with all their heart. Don't understand, don't underestimate the anointing of God on your life as a parent and the responsibility upon you to lay your hands upon them, to pray, to instruct, to scripture read with them. It, it may be the rudder that saves them from going the direction that Solomon did. She obviously tried. And guess what, folks? He didn't. But she will stand before God, blessed 